I am missing Futures Market a little bit. Uh, like, in, in games where the game's going well, you don't miss it that much. It's like... It's a trade-off, right? You're trading more AP for, like, the comfort of being able to buy more AP, right? You're, like, having that AP in the rooms. And, of course, this is also conditional. It's only active while you're above 70% HP. So, it's like, if you're able to one-shot people, this is really good. And if not, then it can suck. It's a little bit rough to play also with Cho'Gath and Ash and Tarek and Talon. Like, these champs are all kind of good against Echo, if I'm being real. For sure, a Lich Bane game. Maybe I can gang top early here. Quinn has Ignite and, it, and Quinn has also a good setup with her E early. And Cho'Gath's also a very gankable champ in general. Let's see. I guess against Kinrod I definitely need to ward here. I think I'll place it now. Really important to leave this ward, it covers like both entrances here as well. Mm, probably not gonna be able to gank top since she's just zoning him away. Is that guy warding already? Or what? Huh? <laughs> What's happening there? No way, he's going all the way around. He's actually going all the way around. Nah, minus like five creeps. Is he walking around? I, I'm so confused what, what's up with this guy. Can I gank him? Like, I don't know if it's warded. I'm not gonna, he's too full HP, it's such a waste of time. I think if, the, if my team doesn't fuck up the wave now, I can definitely gank. Should be coming in. I'll just walk in from behind here. Wouldn't be worried. Um, I'm just coming mid here right away. I'm just can't even flash away from the top. Okay, I think this guy's just dead, probably. You know. I think he gets the wave in on his own. Maybe I even gank top uh, bot again here. I think I can. I just need to go in now. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. What? What is that? Wait, what? Huh? And that, that was actually kind of bad for me now. She invaded me and she's... Why is she getting another stack on the crap? That's so weird. Man, I'm just playing way too much with my bot lane though. I haven't even touched my bot set here. I mean, it's gonna win us the game, I'm sure. Having a 3 0 Kaiser, but I'm not very, very fat here. Also, dropping my Quinn completely right now. It's a little bit unfortunate. I kind of want to just stay bot here and do Drake, maybe. Uh, this was warded right, I'm stupid. I just didn't want to go top set here because of the uh, campion not being up, but I guess now it's up. So I'm just going there. My permaban is uh, Rengar, but I, I don't really recommend it in low regals because nobody there knows how to play Rengar. But I mean, if you struggle against him and you see him a lot, then still ban him, of course. It's definitely always an annoying matchup in any elo. In lower elos, I would definitely recommend something like uh, a Kha'Zix or Kindred or whatever. BRO! You motherfucker! Kill him! Replay! Kill! Uh, I guess I'll just clear here and do Herald maybe? Man, that is like a little bit annoying that the crap on the bot side is her stack. But I kinda want to, of course, not give her a free stack, but I definitely don't want to go there either. Rather just... Uh, okay. Good job, replay! I love Echo. Okay, I don't know what this guy's doing, man. Yeah, they're just getting stomped, holy shit. I'll just go bot here again. It's Talon bot. Ah. <laughs> he might be a little bit tilted, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I just got spotted. Can we still go? Can we still just go? Doesn't matter that they know. I 
should have actually went on the turret because I don't think I have a stack. Oh. Does the Herald deal true damage or how does it work with the armor that the tower gets? Yeah, I guess he does still deal true damage, right? Seems like that. This is a League of Legends experience for sure. Ah, wow, the fucking thing spotted me. Get them. Just gonna jungle. 140 gold. <laughs> interesting, interesting. And now, like, leaving the mark up here is actually so good because Kindred will just not get any new marks and she, she's never able to invade that at this point. Damn. She's worth full gold again, not bad. I thought this game would definitely be much more difficult to play, but that's what I'm always saying. Like, every game is playable as long as you just get ahead, right? And you always have the chance to get ahead, basically. And that's, like, the truer the lower the elo is anyways. So I think if you're in low elo, you should genuinely never dodge games. Like, never, actually. It will just make you a worse player. Just wanted some gold so I can buy boots and medras. I don't. Let's try. Let's take my medras. Yes. Let's get them really quick. Then there's Echo. And I have to comment. Dude, the sorcery setup has felt pretty good, I gotta say. Game. This game is really not an indicator with the damage, to be honest. I should have another deco. 